This is Car Boot Camera, working title, a series where we look at each other's best new small brand camera gear picks from around the world. And in this video, there's Smack Talk about each other's products. That's really cheap. Smack Talk about a very famous photo YouTuber. <laughs> Come on. Came out wrong. <laughs> and some other randomness. Here we go! By the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own website, online store, or domain, do try their free 14-day trial and use the discount code and link in the description box below. Here we go. You're not in Park Street. It's the one next to me, yeah, before. But uh, you probably need to lose weight if you want to get out there. You... I mean, when you think about a lot of the, the camera gear content that you see online, it's always about the most exciting brand. You don't see too much about the little brands which is what this is all about it's about little things that you probably don't know about help some small business yeah how we're doing it is that lock has got a whole load of stuff that he's gonna sell hashtag <laughs> not an ad well eventually maybe they are their sponsors so. anyway so lock has got his own stuff goodies i've got my own things and maybe throw some shade at each other let's see what we've got well first up let's start with this thing it looks it's... like um Gun grip. I mean, a magazine. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What is so interesting about your magazine thing? This is a card case and a card reader in one, two in one. It's a good idea. I mean, mm. you got your. This is going to be the last video that we ever do of car boot sale. It got two SIM card slot as well. What brand is this? Um, Praytech? Praytech? Pray, pray, Let's have a look. It's PGY what? Tech, isn't it? I don't know. You, <laughs> how do you, how you're trying to find it. Well, it's PGY, isn't it? It's PGY Tech. Oh, why, why is it not PGYTEC? TEC TEC then. Some of those Chinese companies make a name that you don't even know how to pronounce it. How is it good part, um, marketing? Yeah. Get a grip. That That's could a, be a great tagline for a, a grip maker. <laughs> get a grip. Oh shit, how'd you get it out again? Push. From the, from the other side. Oh, that's a bit of rubbish, isn't it? What, what rubbish? It's quick. I was expecting it to be like pushed down and it ejects like that. That's really cheap. <laughs> that's like when you, as a kid, you put something in a toilet roll and it's like, how do you get, how do you get out of here? It's like, you push it that way. If you're it's fat fingered, just, your finger's gonna get stuck in that. You two pinky then. Well, some, some people have got fat pinkies, haven't they? You're exaggerating it. No. We, but it's a good idea. Uh, a card case and then why not make it a card reader as well? It's like a pencil with an eraser. It's very dusty, and, uh, this one. Look but it's rubberized, it's not slippery. It's and in... um, it will, it will uh, shock, um, I mean, shock resistance. Yes, I feel like an Included. auctioneer, you know, when they, the assistant to the auctioneer. <laughs> <laughs> included, the wire is in included. What kind of sales pitch is this? Wire included. Better than uh, not being included. sales separately. <laughs> It support SD card and micro SD card as well. This had four slots for micro SD card, and you can store one more in the reader as well. It's like mm. a gun; you clock one more bullet into this the chamber. Not very exciting stuff. What, what what's the problem? Are you saving the best to last, or is this um, uh, the best? It's it just oh, the okay. first thing right. I wished right. for. What what do you think? I'm thinking I could have been at home. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. When, in what situation would that be really useful? Um, shooting trip. What, shooting trip? I mean, if you, if you, if you have a shoot uh, overboard, and you can only bring so much gear, this, you don't have to bring a case and a reader. Give me your card reader and your SD card case, and then you can use this. I've got all of them. No, you're gonna have to use this now. Fine. It only holds four SD cards. Well, I, okay. Actually, to be honest, <laughs> I would hope that I would hope that it's a little bit bigger. I mean, it only, only takes four SD cards. Yeah. But maybe they would release another one, make uh, version two, then take more cards. Then it would be perfect. You can write them email and ask them to make it. You just have to figure out how to to spell the name. <laughs> yeah, P Y P Y G T P T Y. K Y Jelly. P T P T Y P Y G P T Y. Oh yeah, P T Y Tech or Pray Tech. <laughs> Maybe it's Pray Tech. Actually, they they uh, they want to give it give one to you. Oh really? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a good nice, then now. It's a nice idea. 
uh, PGY Tech. Pre Pre Tech. Oh, okay, great. Thank you, PGY Tech. Wait, it costs that much? Anyway, before we carry on, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service, you can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. So here we are. Bloom. Go. Go. Filters again. Yeah. Everybody does it, don't, don't they? Yeah, well, well, our filters, the Boca Bowls filters. We're not famous enough. We're not we are, up we there not, with the McKinnons we, and the Blooms. We are not filmmakers, that's why. We, well, you know, anybody can call themselves filmmakers these days. You just buy an expensive camera and say, boom, I'm a filmmaker. I'm on YouTube, I've got a following, so therefore I'm a filmmaker. So. Let's, let's do some wicked slow motion B-rolls and then put some uh, teal, and, teal and orange and then boom, I'm a filmmaker. Yeah, today we are filmmaker. Oh, and that's good. There's some, yeah. oh, con <laughs> control check. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's actually Bloom's signature. This is the Bloom signature edition. It's literally signed OEM. by... OEM from some Chinese factory. <laughs> <See that? laughs> no. This is from Format. It's made in Wales. Made in Wales? Yeah, the country, not the animal. I know. Why is it called Bloom Gold? It's not made of gold, but what it is, is a gold mist filter. Mist filters are quite popular these days because everybody's getting to filmmaking. Why do well, people actually, like mist filters? I got one as well. Basically, it just it rounds off the edges, doesn't it? It's still sharp, but it got the, it got a glow. Digital is sharp, clinically so, but we do like to appreciate art all soft-like. And that's why we like mist filters, because they add glow for pleasing, easy on the eye visuals. It's all artistic and stuff, isn't it? Well, why don't we put on that one? Because there's 67 that I, I purposely brought one that will fit the Panasonic. Oh, really? Yeah. So I've got a quarter and an eighth. That sounds like I'm a drug dealer, but that's not what we're in this car park for. At least not right now. See. Go. That's not good. It, it, it's adding more gold lens flare, probably, with the with the gold ring. It got sparkle, glittering. Okay, that's different. I've never seen this. Not that I've seen many. It's shining extra gold light into the glass. No, but that's the idea, isn't it? Always would be called a black mist. If you want a black mist, you don't buy the Bloom Gold, you buy the Bloom Black when that comes out. Okay, now the main camera have the Bloom Gold filter on it. Yeah. Whoa. So now, now we are peaches. What? <laughs> well, don't know about high-pitched antipodeans, but the Bloom Gold filters are good for two things. Well, firstly the obvious, as mist filters are meant to make the image glow a little, taking the edge off the sharpness, which is pleasing, especially so for people's shots. And the other thing is the halation effect around the points of light, and the Bloom Gold has the gold specs for a very subtle hint of warmth. A high strength increases the effect, obviously, but the contrast gets lower. But I like it, it's made in UK. Really? Hopefully. And if you're more of a fan of Peter McKinnon, you can pretend you're using the Peter McKinnon filter. Yeah. What, what's wrong with uh, Philip Bloom filters? He, he's a he's, filmmaker. He's not as famous it's as... Because his... he do actual work. He <laughs> came out. came out wrong. <laughs> Let's say I, I, I met Philip Bloom, so I, 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 know, I know he's solid. Professional. <laughs> she just left it at that. He's solid. So solid, Bloom. That's good co branding, isn't it? British brand, British filmmaker, a solid filmmaker. <laughs> so there we are. <laughs> the quality control just not giving me confidence. It looks <laughs> so much like Chinese made product. But it looks like some kind of medical thing as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there we are. Anyway, yeah, you can That's see how it works on the main camera. We'll put some more slow motion B rolls in. <sighs> yeah because we're filmmakers. It's slow. Well, we're, the slow motion will come from either shooting 50p or above and not Locke doing some kind of weird mime shit. Tai Chi. Let's take, the, take this off in case it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen the footage, do I? Oh, man. 
That's the last time Philip Bloom talks to you, not that he actually talks to us. <laughs> OK, so, Philip so that's Bloom, your... your uh, Philip Bloom, Bloom Go. Bloom Go. That's a nice uh, packaging. Another, yet another filter. <laughs> yeah. This has gone from, OK, maybe we'll, we'll get paid later on to we're just going <laughs> to offend every of these small brands and uh, YouTubers and creators uh, and When you mentioned that, filmmakers. I've got some myths. This is um good segue. Actually, this is Sin Bloom. Yeah? Sin Bloom. <laughs> Not affiliated Moment. with Philip Bloom, I may add. This is from Moment. Yeah. So this is um diffusion filter that I have used it before in your video. Let's see it now. Oh, look at that. Cinematic. Mm. I think it got a better case than your Bloom Go. Yeah, but it's not made of case, is it? It is. The case is heavy. It's safer and it looks so much nicer. You can pretend you're doing your makeup. Yeah, exactly. No. That's how, that's how good quality the case is. Almost like luxury product. Ding! Now this is how you do it. Like, oh, uh, you've you got red wing, but the inside is black. So it don't so, so shine then, yeah. extra wet light into your camera. Yeah. Well, that's fine because th the whole point of that is gold. So you want extra goldness. Maybe, maybe. Just saying though, the Bloom Gold is also available with a black ring too. So shove that up your moment ring. At least this has got Bloom's name on it. They've got Bowman. This has got Bloom Bowman. written on it, but it's nothing to do with Philip Bloom, right? So don't think you're buying Philip Bloom's magic. Sing. If you want actual Philip Bloom's magic, well, you probably need to um, date him. But if you want the camera magic, then you get this one. Well, look, I'm not going to compare the Bloom Gold versus the moment. They're both mist filters, but they both offer up unique enough looks to go for either or both, depending on preference. The Bloom Gold, apart from obviously giving some subtle warmth to the image, doesn't lose as much contrast as the moment. If you want more obvious glow, the moments do provide it. Whereas the Bloom Gold have a much smoother light halation transition, whereas the moment black mist has a clear halation ring around the light source. Me, I like the Bloom gold although i would say that sings that was my car boot choice but moment does make a nice filter among other stuff i thought they make mobile phone stuff moment. yeah i do have a lot of them right here this is a cold shoe max safe thing okay and you have cold shoe that's neat it is isn't it yeah so good, Kai forgot to, um, he have to be criticizing it. And if you have to use tripod, this is tripod and cold shoe. It's well made, it's um, all metal and it's just simple. Yeah. It's just so simple, we put it on. Designed in Seattle, made in China. If you are mobile filmmakers, you have this. It's a cage. It got so many threads for a lot of stuff. Mic and light, remote control, something like that. Mm. Look at that. Two, um, two cold shoe. That's very neat for making your pocketable phone into something the size of a proper camera. Yeah, I, I so, don't do that, but yeah. apparently some people want this kind of. So the mobile filmmaker cage is one hundred nineteen dollars ninety nine cents. Okay. The cold it's shoe not, mount. Not too bad. The cold shoe mount is well, it's thirty nine ninety nine originally. It's on sale now, probably because nobody's buying it. Tripod mount, the MagSafe one, sixty nine dollars ninety nine originally. Good That's quality. Yeah, well, that's quite a bit of extra money for, for sticking a bag safe onto some small rig stuff. But it's uh, good quality. All right. See? If that's See the logic, it. you can pick up some stones off the floor and say, that's good quality. It's hard. It doesn't break. Maybe you don't have to uh, talk about this. This is for you. Oh, oh, oh uh, I think yeah. Oh, they're great. They're great products. <laughs> and... Um, they're priced appropriately for a product that is designed 
by Americans with higher good. salaries. <laughs> I like moment. They're good. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, basically, that is the moment. Now, it's gone. The moment is gone. Yeah.